the bread which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. It is deeply moving when someone donates a kidney to save another's life, or when the heart of a deceased person is transplanted into another's body and lives on. These stories help us make a little sense of the self-donation of Jesus to us. However, Jesus giving was a total non-partial. The focus is difficult to stomach, almost like a call to cannibalism. But for Christians raised in the Catholic faith, it is perhaps more natural, though never easy to understand. Christ's institution of the Eucharist. This, this flesh food, blood drink, leads to the mutual indwelling or abiding menin of Christ and the believer. From this eating and drinking, the latter will draw everlasting life. The acceptance of the body and blood of Christ as real indwelling presence, not merely symbolic, leads us to see the Eucharist as a presence, as a sacrifice, and as the church and its foundation. And as the anticipation of the banquet of the kingdom, Moses offered animals as a sacrifice of thanksgiving, a covenant. Jesus poured out his own blood on the cross, a new covenant, a sacrifice of atonement for our sins, the center of church's life. As I ponder gratefully on the sacrifice of Eucharist, am I inspired to give myself in sacrifice in the service of God and His people?